Good morning, y'all. Good morning. It's almost afternoon. Uh, so good morning, good afternoon, all of that. How's everybody doing today? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Um, you know, this is this this conversation right here, and I'm doing this conversation because of something that happened to me that I'm gonna use as a case study now, right? And you know, I, I wanna I wanna talk about this because this is really important because a lot of people talk about, you know, I want to be a public figure, I want fame, I want this, I want that. But do you really like I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna tell you some truth, the ugly side that people don't really understand about this this stuff. And you know, this is a precursor to a social media marketing and discussion, uh, social media marketing and branding discussion that I'm gonna do uh, this evening actually. But I, I just want to spend some time. And talk to you guys. So this is a hashtag get real woke discussion on being a public figure. Okay, so the reason why I'm having this conversation, because I was actually going to do social media branding and marketing today, uh, this morning, actually. But instead, um, I have to have this conversation here as a precursor to my social media marketing and branding discussion based on something that happened to me directly. So here we go, right? Okay. If you go to my Instagram right now, at Frederick D. Scott, uh, and if you see this on YouTube, likely it will have changed by then because uh, my team is active uh, and on top of this. But if you go to my Instagram right at this very moment, you will see that I have uh, something like 7,426 followers, right? Now, if you think about that, just yesterday I had 1,600 and, and I don't know, Somewhere around in there, thereabouts, right? And this started last night, probably about, actually early this morning. This started probably about, oh, 2.33 in the morning. And I noticed it because I was actually on a live panel on YouTube with uh, Max V. And if y'all know who that is, check out uh, Max V World on, on YouTube. Definitely a very, very uh, cool situation. Um, you know, very cool dude, very cool platform. You know what I mean? Something for you guys to definitely check out. But anyway, so while I'm on this platform, while I'm on this panel having a discussion, you know, with his following base, um, I started getting all of these notifications on my phone about new subscribers or new followers on, on my Instagram page. And so I went to my Instagram page and I looked and I kept my followers kept going higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. And so while I was on the panel, you know, like I I, I sidebarred real quick and I was like, hey, Max, you know, like and I, I said this in front of everybody. I was like, hey, like, hey, man, something very strange is happening to my social media page, my Instagram. And he was like, what do you mean? I was like, yo, like I'm getting like mad followers out of nowhere. And he was like, it's likely to do. You know, and he went and he went to my page and he looked at it and he was like, yeah, it's still going up. He's like, you're trending somewhere. Um, you know, it's likely because of that interview that just got published because I had an interview. I did an interview and it just got published yesterday. Um, and he was like, likely it's because of that interview and you're trending now. And I'm like, OK, now, mind you, it's like, you know, three something in the morning. I finally took it down about 4 a.m., right? And when I, when I finally went to sleep, I was at like 5,000 something followers. So, you know, but things don't sit well with me, right? You know, because yes, it is possible to generate uh, a huge following, you know, fairly quickly, uh, organically. It's possible to do that, right? You know, you get the right interviews, you get the right, you know, uh, press attention and, and that can happen for you, right? But the interview I did was not a really like large publication. Like it wasn't that. So... You know, for me, right, that the, the, the numbers just didn't add up. It doesn't make sense. And, and remember, I'm a guy who wrote a whole book on social media branding and marketing, right? Profiting from social media. Um, you know, like I, I wrote a whole book on this. So, you know, I'm very in tune with, you know, how social media works, the analytics, you know, tracking the analytics, you know, transaction uh, campaign management, transaction funneling, building campaigns for demographics, you know, so of course I've got all the analytics on the back end, you know, not just on, on, on Instagram, but on YouTube, on my website, all of that. So of course, you know, I, I, I wake up this morning 
And I start looking at analytics. My team and I start looking at these analytics. And what I realized is, you know, because I, I sent a message, you know, I, I, I reached out to my team, of course, um, because this is this is very alarming for me. And, you know, when I start looking at the analytics on on like my website, you know, when I looked at it last night briefly, um, I saw there was a bit of a spike in my analytics. Right. So I was like, OK, maybe this is legit engagement. And then when I looked this morning, that spike was very short lived. So now, you know, when I'm looking at the analytics, you know, and, and cross platforming, what I'm seeing is that, you know, the 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 what's happening on Instagram isn't trending across the rest of my my platforms, which if you have legit engagement, what you'll find is that you know, it will trend across your platforms if you have what we call a bottleneck. And I'm going to talk about all of this, you know, tonight in my social media branding and marketing uh, conversation. I'll talk to you about, about what bottlenecking is and how you push people to one unified platform. But, you know, so anyway, so then boom, shortly after I wake up, I get this message right here, right? And I'm going to share the message with you. So I get a message from a guy that, and, and his name is, I will drown you and your kids, right? And this is, this is, this is in my, uh, I guess it would be like the general mailbox where, cause he's not, you know, we're not following each other. So it goes into a different folder and it's this right here. Fake followers, another con description in bio. So now I click on his page. And I see that he only has one post, zero followers, one following, right? But this page, the guy's name is Jermaine Brown. And after doing some research, after we, you know, my team and I dug into this a little bit, we realized that he's in Bergen, New Jersey. Now, Jermaine Brown, is that his real name? I don't have an answer to that question right now, you know. But this is what we call a, a troll page. This page was designed specifically to try to discredit my brand and discredit my value, right? And and undermine my credibility, right? And this is one of the dangers of, of, of being a public figure, right? This is one of the realities. And so, you know, just for common knowledge, of course, you know, I don't like to share things with you guys that I can't back up with facts. So, you know, a couple of articles here that I pulled up. One says, can you buy Instagram followers for someone else? The answer, yes, you actually can, right? Yes, you actually can. And they kind of break down how you would go about doing that. And all you really need at the end of the day is the name of the person's Instagram account. You know what I mean? Like mine is at Frederick D. Scott. And you could literally buy fake followers from me. Now, why would someone do this? Why would someone want to do this to me? In a few of my lives, I've actually come out and, and directly said that, you know, you should never buy followers. Don't buy followers. I've said that a few times, right? So I guess what this guy thought he was going to do was like buy followers for my account and then try to discredit me uh, and show that, oh, he's a hypocrite because of what, what he says is not what he's doing. And he actually tagged in his description, my hashtag get real woke and my hashtag for the free. And interestingly enough, why would he do that? Right. Why would he do that? The reason why he would do that is because when you hashtag and again, this is something I'm going to get into later on this evening. But when you hashtag, of course, if that's a hashtag that I use on a regular basis, when you use the same hashtag and people click on that hashtag because the, those are links that you can actually click on then it will trend with the rest of my stuff and people will actually be able to see it, right? What he fails to understand because he's not a social media branding and marketing expert, like he knows very little about this, right? Um, which then goes back to literacy and all of these things within our community. But because he doesn't know enough about how this really works, he doesn't understand that Instagram, Google, YouTube, they all have algorithms. And one of the things in their algorithm is they look for the quality of the content, right? When they rank it in a hashtag. So funny enough, when I actually looked at, when I clicked on the hashtag, get we're woke and the hashtag for the free, he, what he did appears all the way at the bottom, even though it's the most recent thing posted on hashtag get real woke. And why is that? Because the quality of the content, the algorithm was able to discover 
that likely this is a, a, a fake page. Um, and it was able to discover that the quality of the content is harassing. And, and therefore it ranked it extremely low and all the way at the bottom of, of the, the, the hashtag feed. Right? Now here's the worst part. What does it cost to buy what I'm what what I what I put together is about five thousand followers because that's what he did here, right? What does it what does it cost to buy five thousand followers? Let's look at that. So this guy spent forty five dollars and fifty cents to 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 buy followers that he could use to discredit right my brand and my credibility and try to undermine what it is that I do right uh and and you know so so first and foremost you know I'd like to I'd like to 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 address that right I want to address that so I don't exactly know who this guy is it could have been the guy and and the platform that I exposed with the 500 something thousand followers could have been the guy from the RK Wealth Development that's working in conjunction with them. Um, I mean, I do find it a commonality that the guy that works for the RK Wealth Development's name is Jermaine and the guy that created this fake page, his name is Jermaine too. So I do find some, you know, while the last name is different, the first name is the same. So, you know, some, some striking similarities there, but I can't say for sure if they are one and the same person. Um, and I would never put that out there without concrete 100% certainty. So at this point, I'm not going to say that, right? But I do find it striking that, you know, the name is the same, you know? But let's leave that. You know, this is, and, and this goes back now to a discussion that I had on, on, you know, unity in the community and us working together instead of tearing us down. Like, it would have been smarter for him, listen, like... It would have been, you just wasted $50 to try to discredit me not understanding what you're dealing with. Like, I'm honest. I'm transparent. Like, I'm, I'm accountable. Like, I, my following base and my credibility is built on the fact that I only deal in facts. I'm not a hypocrite. I'm knowledgeable. I'm experienced. And I have execution ability. I wouldn't be a public figure if I didn't understand everything that happens when you are a public figure see this guy is really really young like i and he's got to be like this is what i think i think he's really young because you know i've been quiet for eight years so if you're 23 you were still a teenager you know what i mean when i was out there moving in the press i'm media trained right i've dealt with the positive and the negative of the press i survived the feds some of the biggest, they are the biggest smear campaign artists, period. And I survived them. And, you know, so the fact of the matter is, like, you're coming for somebody that is used to doing this. If you thought that I wasn't going to use this as a case study, you're wrong. If you thought that I wasn't going to get ahead of this and control this narrative, you're wrong. Like... If you thought I was just going to sit back and say, oh, thank you for the followers and say nothing and give you an opportunity to try to make me look like a hypocrite, you're wrong. Because not only am I having this video, but now my team, and notice I said my team, right? I always say we and my team. You see me because I'm the public figure. You don't see the lawyers and accountants, social media firm, publicists, all of these people that I have behind me, like that, that monitors and manages, you know, my brand and my platform. It's not just me. So you're not stressing me out. I got a team to deal with this. Like, and so what's going to happen is I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Not only am I having this video, but all of these followers that you thought you were going to buy to discredit my platform, right? And make it seem like I'm doing something contrary to what I'm teaching. All of these followers are going to be removed. Like, that's what we're going to do. Like, because I grow organically. Because I understand the concept of engagement and conversion, which again, I'm going to talk about this stuff when we have our social media branding and marketing discussion tonight. So, you know, I find it very striking and, and, and it's funny because, you know, I pulled up another article. I pulled up another two articles. You know, one is titled, you know, 
what to do if someone is buying you fake followers. Here's how you put a stop to it immediately. And so there's articles out there that you can read to understand how to stop people from doing this. And, but why do people do this? Like the goal to do, the goal is to discredit the brand. The goal, the goal is to destroy the engagement. The goal is to, you know, undermine, undermine the conversion metrics. So I'm still going to tell you, like I've always said, don't buy social media followers. Don't do it, right? Because they have no value for you long term. It hurts you more than it helps you. And I'm going to remove these followers like it's done. Like, like I don't understand why this guy, it would have been smarter for you, sir, whoever you are that, that decided that you wanted to come for me, right? The better thing that you should have done, you could have taken your $50, honestly, because that's what you spent $45 and some change. I hey, listen, like you could have, have taken your money and bought a book from me, right? And learned something that made yourself better, and put yourself in a better position to be able to make money for yourself. That would have been a better use of your money. Instead, you spent money. Not only are you praying for my downfall, but you're trying to pay for my downfall. Make it make sense, bro. Like, that's never going to work here because I'm never going to shortcut the situation. Like, I don't take shortcuts. Like, I don't do that. Like, I've been doing what I do for almost 15 years. Bro, I'm not going to take shortcuts. The reason why I'm sharing this story with y'all and this reality is for a couple of reasons. Number one, you know, when me and Max, we were watching this last night, you know, we thought that it was trending at first. And, you know, a lot of people were congratulating me and, you know, this is great for you and blah, 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 blah. So, you know, I, I want, I appreciate the congratulations, but I'm always going to be honest enough. I didn't have to say anything. This guy's got one whole follower and it's me. I mean, one whole person that he fires, no followers. And he's following one person and the one person he's following is me. I probably could have said nothing and probably got away with this, right? But at the end of the day, right, and 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 I would have just had this following out of nowhere. But the truth of the situation is I'm not built like that. Like I, I don't I'm not built like that. My brand is not built like that. My credibility and my reputation is much more valuable to me than that foolery right there. So, you know, I'm doing this video for, for a couple of different reasons. Number one, to let everybody know what it really is, right? So that way, everybody that congratulated me, I appreciate those congratulations. But at the end of the day, the truth is, this is what the truth is, right? This is what it really is. Now that, you know, my team and I have had some time to dig into this, this is the truth of the situation, right? This is what we've discovered. Number two, um, I'm doing this as a case study, right? And in, in teaching you, like, what the downside is to being a public figure. Listen, like, you will notice that I don't talk much about my family. Like my family and my per my personal life and my, my professional life are two totally separate things. And I'm going to tell you why. It is very important if you think you're going to be a public figure, if you think you're going to try to get into press, if you think you want this fame and all of this, right? You need to understand that it is very important for you, right, to keep your personal life and your professional life separate. Because just like people are rooting for your success, there are people that are praying and plotting your downfall. And one thing about it, if they think they can't get to you, they will do something to your family. And there are some people that will go as far as they can to get to your family. There are people that will try to run your background and, and get your address and show up to your house and bring harm to you and your family. You know, this guy's name literally like his, 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 and I'll show it to you again, like is literally, I will drown you and your kids. That is a threat. I take that as a threat, a full on 100% threat. So with that in mind, I want to say something. So that way it's understood. One, you will never hear about my family. So you will never find my family. You will never know where I live. But if you should accidentally stumble upon me moving around in the street with my family, you know what I mean? Let me tell you something, bruh. Bring that to me because it's going to be a closed casket. I promise you that. Do not let this professional demeanor, do not let these glasses, you know what I mean? This smooth taste, these dimples, this smile, don't let none of this fool you, bruh. It's a lot to me. To, it's a lot more to me than meets the eye, bruh. I just look like this. Don't make the mistake of thinking that you're going to try to come for me, bruh, and bring harm to me or my family. Because one thing about me, 
I will go to prison for my family. I will end you. And I have no problem going back to prison for my family. In defense and protection of my family, I will do it 100% over. And that's not a question about that. So be very, very, very careful coming for me. Moreover, bruh, as I said, I got a team. Bruh, I got lawyers, accountants. Like, I got a social media team, publicists. I got advisors. I got great relationships and contacts. Bruh, I'm not just some social media dude. Bruh, I do a lot more professionally than just what I do in my personal brand. Don't make the mistake of slipping up and finding out what my legal team and them are about. I'm telling you. I'm not to be played with. But these are the things that you deal with when you're a public figure. This come with it, right? This comes with it. This comes with it. And it's sad, but it's real. This is where it's at. And so I thought I would come on and, and break this down and share this with you so you can see how far people will really go to try to see you fall. They can't find anything that they can use to discredit you or if there's something there, you've already discussed it, disclosed it, explained it, you know, spoken on it so they can't get no traction with that. People will literally try to manufacture situations, right? Manufacture something to try to undermine your credibility. Like they will pay money and manufacture this stuff. It's mind boggling to me. Like, but again, I, I, I've, I've done this before. I've been in the press before. I've seen the positive and the negative. I'm not new to this. Like, so, I mean, great attempt. Thank you for giving me content to discuss today and giving me a great case study and so I can show people the downside to being a public figure um, and how to protect themselves. Like, you know, when people do stuff like that to you, you got to be on top of it immediately. You got to be on top of this stuff immediately. And, you know, somebody pays for followers and drops them into your account like that. Yo, you got to be on top of that. Remove those followers because it's going to mess up your analytics. It's going to mess up your brand. It's going to mess up your credibility. Like if you're trying to do things the right way and grow organically and, you know, match engagement with with following and, and match conversion based on your following, this throws your analytics off. It'll hurt you a lot more than it'll help you. And not only that. Like, and, and, and it's so easy to see, like, if you click on the followers that, that, that are on, you know, my social media page at this point, I mean, if you just click through my followers and just click on some of the pages, you can see that they're bots and fake accounts. You look silly. It looks crazy. You know what I mean? That's not what it's about. Like, you don't do stuff like that. That is not how you're going to grow and find success. It looks good on the surface. But once you scratch off a little bit of that surface, it all falls apart. That's not how you build social media. So this is a this is not just, you know, a discussion of what it means to be a public figure. This is a case study on what not to do and why you don't do it. Like anyway, y'all, I just wanted to have this discussion because I wanted to put this out there because I thought this was very, very, very important right here. And, you know, the crazy thing is, here's the crazy thing. Look, bro, I'm just getting started. I'm just getting started and they already coming for me. What that tells you is, see, what you got to understand about haters, haters are your biggest fans. Let's be very clear about that. Because what I've always explained to people is hate is nothing but love in reverse. That's all it is. This is love in reverse. Like your haters, your detractors, they're your biggest fans. They're part of your fan club too. They just, you know, when they show up to the fan club, they always got the mean mug on or the boo-boo face. That's all. You know what I mean? But they part of the fan club too. I mean, you know, we, 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 we accept you in too. We high hater. We accept you too. Um, we definitely accept you. Um, you know what I mean? You can get a, you can get a hat and a shirt and a mug too. You can get, you can get it. You know, you get you some pom poms and cheerlead too. Definitely. Definitely. You know what I mean? But the reality of the situation, you know, and I think this is the, the, the craziest part about what this does right here is, you know what I mean? I'm just getting started, bruh. I'm just getting started. And they already trying to like manufacture things to discredit. Like, I can't believe this guy spent fifty dollars to try to, to buy five thousand followers for my page. Are you kidding me right now? Like, I can't believe it. But I mean, what a waste of money. Bruh, I'm removing all of that nonsense. Like, but more than that, like what you gotta understand is what the, the signal that this sends to someone like me who've been doing this a long time, right? 
I, oh, I'm a threat. Oh, I know I'm a threat. See, what you got to understand is me doing what I do, hashtag for the free, right? Putting out this information, hashtag for the free, right? And, you know, most like 90, 95% of what I do is hashtag for the free underneath my brand, right? And when somebody does something like this, it shows you how much of a threat you really are. You know what I mean? You're threatening people's livelihoods. They feel in a way about that. So they want to try to, you know what I mean? They want to try to do whatever they can to stop you because they see you coming already. They see what it's going to be already and they know you're going to be a problem. And they know that because they're not right, because they're not correct, because they're not on their A game, because their knowledge ain't where it needs to be, right? Their experience ain't where it needs to be. Their execution abilities aren't where it needs to be. Their, their credibility isn't where it needs to be. You know what I mean? Their credentialing isn't where it needs to be. Because of that, they know they're going to lose a lot of money. They're going to lose a lot of customers. A lot of people ain't going to deal with them no more. Because as I continue to grow my following organically, as I continue to hit the press, as I continue to, you know what I mean, rebuild my personal brand, right? What's going to end up happening is, what, what it's going to be is I'm going to be the credibility measuring stick. So people are going to reach out to me, right? And ask me what I think about somebody that they're trying to work with. And I'm going to vet that nonsense. And then I'm going to tell them the truth. And if you if you ain't about nothing, I'm going to tell them you're not about nothing. And then I'm going to expose you. I'm going to do them. You're going to be a case study. You're going to be put out there. See what I'm saying? People see what's coming already. These little shucksters, these little nothings, these little nobodies see what's coming already. They're afraid. They're trembling already. I'm just getting started. They already trembling. Make it make sense, bro. I just got here. You already trembling. You already trying to pay for my downfall, bro. I'm built like that. I'm built to last. I've been here almost 15 years. I ain't going nowhere. I don't fall through much harder than this. But here's the other thing, right? And I just want to, you know, another thing about being a public figure. And I'm gonna tell you a story. Something that, something that happened that I thought about, right? You know, because when you when, when things happen to you, you reflect on other things that you've already been through. That's the great thing about experience, right? You can reflect on things that you've already been through, right? And you remember and you already know how to move and navigate. That's the beauty of experience, right? Doing something a long time, you know, you see so many things and you see the same things over and over again. You know what I mean? So when you've gone through something before and something else pops up that's similar to it, you remember back to something that you something else that was similar that you've already been through. And you're able to navigate based on the lessons you learn from that experience, right? So let me tell you a story, right? And this is another danger of being a public figure. Yo, when you're a public figure, you're exposed. And people don't realize how exposed you really are, right? I remember when I was, so I was on the National Action Network. This was 2013, National Action Network's uh, Economic and Development Panel, right? It was me, Julianne Malvo, Deborah Wright, you know, you know, hitters, you know what I mean? We were all on the panel and it was, it was like about five or six of us. Uh, it was a guy from the White House, you know, uh, that was on the panel with us. And we were talking about economic and development in the community. Now, mind you, I'm on this panel, right? There's a crowd full of people. Immediately upon finishing the panel, and I had brought like two or three, I think it was like three people. Yeah, it was three people. I brought three people with me. I'm a driver with me. And I had two guys that were kind of like security with me, right? And I'm glad I had them because check this out. The moment that panel was done, boom, I got flooded. Like people were like surrounding me. They weren't trying to do me harm. They were just trying to talk to me, right? People were trying to get my attention and talk to me, you know, before I left the building because, you know, they wanted to follow up with me, you know, get to know me, leave me a business card, something like that, get my number or contact information or whatever. So that way, you know, they could, you know, build a relationship and, and learn from me, right? Very, very flattering. But in that same instance, right? Think about this. My security and my driver, they had to literally push people out of the way and make a path for me to get out, right? I'll never forget this. Now, just think of one of those people I showed up specifically to do me some harm because they don't like that I'm a threat to what it is that they do. And I'm affecting their livelihood just being who I am every day and putting out all of these facts, hashtag for the free. And all of this knowledge, hashtag for the free. So there are people that will really actually buy a ticket to something, show up with ill intentions in mind. Just think of what would have happened if somebody had been there that day to do me some harm. I'm surrounded by people, right? Yeah, we're making a path, but that, you know, that it doesn't take long to get a shot off or stab someone. It doesn't take long. 
And what you don't realize about being a public figure is when you're doing stuff like that and when you're out there like that and you're doing conferences and seminars and, and trainings and workshops and things like that, you don't realize that, you know, it are people that really will show up to do you some harm, show up to heckle you, show up to make problems, show up to make issues. And so, and a lot of times, you know, especially when you're moving in the black community, right? A lot of the conferences and seminars don't have the best security. They don't. So if you're not vigilant, if you're not trained, if you're not if you're not experienced in in in, in security protocol and procedure management, if you're not aware of your surroundings, you can get hurt. You can get hurt. You lose your life, all because you're trying to do something good. You think it's a joke, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Medgar Evers. I mean, like. These are just a few very prominent names that were speaking to the community out trying to do a good thing and lost their life. Like, it's real. And it's not just, you know, this ain't just a, oh, you got to watch out, you know, for the white folks. No, like, it'll be people in your own community. It'll be your own that come out to bring that type of harm to you. Like, if you look at this page right here, that's a black face. That's not a white face, y'all. That's a black face. That's a black face coming to bring me harm. Coming to bring me smoke. And I ain't doing nothing but trying to uplift and benefit the community. Such is the danger of being a public figure. So I just wanted to put this out there. I just wanted to share this with y'all. You know what I mean? Because I'm always be honest with my following base. Like I ain't never going to take nothing that I ain't earned. You know what I mean? And I ain't never going to take credit for something that, you know, wasn't all mine or that I had nothing to do. If I had a hand in it and other people had, and other people had something to do with it as well, I'm going to get in they shine because they shine as due, right? But I'm never going to take a shortcut. I'm always going to be honest. I'm going to always be transparent. I'm going to always put it out there for what it is, right? When I get the facts, y'all get the facts, right? And so that's what this was about and, and, and just, you know, a cautionary tale and, and what it is to be a public figure, all right? So, yo, listen, I appreciate y'all. Like always, feel free to like, subscribe, follow, and share this information with anybody that you think can benefit. The more eyes we get on the content, you know what I mean? The more people will be able to benefit, learn, and grow, and achieve the things that it is that they want to achieve in their personal life. Y'all, I appreciate y'all for taking the time to listen to me. Thank you so much, and y'all have a great day. Again, hashtag get real woke around here. You know most of what I do, especially when I'm on live, it's hashtag for the free. And you know what I mean? We always around here hashtag making it make sense. All right, y'all. I'll holla at you.